Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to install WordPress automatically on those web servers that don't offer Fantastico Deluxe. For this one we're looking at Bluehost and we're going to take a look for the WordPress button that is featured on its cPanel or control panel. And we're going to scroll down until we find Site Builders. Now I'm going to click on WordPress and this is going to show us how to install WordPress on our website or actually for our website. It also gives us external links to the official site for WordPress, documentation, support forums, how you can donate to WordPress, read reviews about WordPress, or go to custom web design for WordPress. I'm going to scroll down and it has directions to install WordPress. You can click install or import below and by doing this you accept the simple scripts terms of service and you always want to click on those terms of service to read them before you agree to them and underneath there's also an article creating a website using simple scripts here at the top it also gives us versions plugins and themes that we can add licensing information bugs and reported issues and a script list and this script list allows us to put any of these into our WordPress page but I'm going to go back to my cPanel once again I'm going to have to click into my site builder for WordPress and I'm going to click install a brand new version because I don't have an existing installation already that can be installed and I'm going to click install because I have a brand new version rather than import which is for an existing installation clicking install it shows that it's loading and it's going to ask which version I'd like to install if you're not sure just pick the latest one especially if it shows that it's stable next it's going to ask where we'd like the WordPress installed this is our domain name and I'm going to make a subdirectory called tutorial folder and I'm going to make a subdirectory called tutorial next are the advanced options these include administrative privileges database configuration and more options let's go ahead and click to display and this will allow us to give your site a new name to generate a random administrator username and password for you if you don't want to use your own or you can go ahead and put your username and password in here and automatically create a new database and this is going to create a new database for this WordPress installation underneath it offers us plugins and themes including e-commerce a small business theme and WYSI app which allows your site to be turned into a native iPhone app finally at the bottom it's legal information I actually want to click these off right now because I don't want any of those plugins and I'm going to click I have read the terms and conditions once I've read the terms and conditions and click complete and our installation is now complete this shows us our site URL our login URL you can select it and then copy and paste this into your favorites or click on bookmark this link the username is admin and right now this is my password because I didn't reset the password so you'll probably want to copy and paste that somewhere as well once that's done you're going to go to my installs and this shows you that you've already installed WordPress and this allows you to go to the admin login extend uninstall the WordPress advanced and find support again underneath you also have the script lists and you can add these as well to your web hosting so if you want to go ahead and make changes to your WordPress account, they're going to automatically update to your Bluehost web server. If you have any questions, click on support, and you can either call their 1888 number, which is toll free, or you can get started over here with simple scripts. So I hope that this has helped you out and it's shown you that you can actually use Bluehost and WordPress together very easily with just a few clicks of a button. So thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next tutorial.